Love is God and God is love. A relationship without God is as good as using it because God is the foundation of love. What are some of the dangers to God's plan for family? My name is John Nathan Owara. Welcome to this segment of Embrace. For today, we'll handle that. What are the dangers to God's original plan? One is sin. We saw what happened in the Garden of Eden, where Adam and Eve sinned, and that destroyed God's original plan for family. We began seeing Abel being killed by Cain. We began seeing, you know, wars coming up after that. So sin is anything we think, anything we say, anything we do that does not please God. I will repeat that. Sin is anything we think, anything we say, or anything we do that does not please God. Sin is the number one danger to God's plan for family. Sin, where people are doing things which do not, does not please God. If we were doing things that please God, doing things God's way, families would be intact. So sin is the number one danger. Number two, culture. Culture is another very dangerous bad traditions that, for example, polygamy. People have an issue with polygamy. They, th they say, okay, it was in the Old Testament, but polygamy was not God's original plan for family. God said one man, one woman, but because of disobedience, polygamy came up later. And we know the dangers of polygamy. So culture, there are cultures that promote polygamy. The word of God doesn't promote polygamy. That was not God's original intention for family. So culture, there are different cultures, you know. There are cultures that exalt men above women and make women property. Woman was supposed to help man. Wife was supposed to help husband. Not woman becoming property. So culture is also a danger to, to, to God's plan for family. You find Christians who believe in God. They believe that God is the author of family, treating their wives like tools, treating their wives like useless things. This is dangerous. So if you're watching this, just know there are bad cultures that are the danger to God's plan for family. Another danger to God's plan for family is family background. People have been raised differently. Those raised in single family, single, single parent headed families may not be, do, may not exactly take, understand or take family in the same way with someone who was raised by father and mother. There are those who are raised in the villages and those are raised in town. All these are f background, the family background you're coming from. There are those who are raised by prostitutes. No offense. There are those who are raised by witch doctors. There are those who are raised and, and in forms where they are never, they're never valued. So they grow up not valuing family. It's important, friends, that you know that one of the dangers to God's plan for family is the family background. And see how to balance your family background and align your, your marriage or your family to God's original plan. Witchcraft is another danger to God's plan for family. The devil is not happy about family. So he brings in witchcraft to destroy. If you're involved in witchcraft, you're coming against God and his intentions. When you come against God and his intentions, you know what happens. You never win. The earlier you discover this, the better for you. Don't involve yourself in witchcraft. It destroys God's plan for family. God is the author of family. He's the author. It starts in him, it ends in him. Media is another danger to family. And when I mean media, media is pro-family and also against family. Let's talk about the negatives. For example, we have pornography. This is all over media. And people can access pornography from anywhere. So some of the things you are told that you can sexually satisfy yourself you don't need a woman. <laughs> Someone sits somewhere in his bedroom and makes a pornographic movie. That's a danger to God's plan for family. Media exposes things which are evil. But we also have the good side of media, which should be, which exposes God's plans for family. Like right now, what I'm speaking to you is the good side of media. 
So what you listen to more can destroy God's plan for family or can uphold it. And lastly, another danger to family is influence of Western culture. It's okay to divorce. God doesn't, it's not okay. It's not okay to divorce. Why would God put people together then again separate them? It was not in God's plan. In the beginning, in the Garden of Eden, God says husband and wife come together. Why would he again separate them? So if you're watching this and you're a parent, it's not God's plan for divorce. It's because of people's hard, hard-headedness that people, people want to exalt divorce. No, it's not. And remember in the responsibilities of a parent, we said it's your role as a parent to stay together. So if you're not married, once you enter it, no getting out. Stay in marriage. It's God's original plan. Stay in marriage. Stay in marriage. So don't accept external forces. There are even those who have told you marriage is dangerous. Men are all the same. Women, who told you men are the same? Men are dogs. Are you sure? These are influence from outside. External forces. Because you failed with one man, with two men, with three men, it doesn't mean all men are the same. In fact, there are very many good men out there. There are very many good women out there. All women cheat. Who said that? So these are all external forces and their danger to God's original plan for family. How do we restore this? We'll look at this in the next episode. God bless you so much. Thank you for watching. If you missed any of the videos, like this channel and ensure that you follow us. God bless you so much and bye-bye.